maybe the 50% of the buildings what you see around Chindao is all built after I come here. So it is uh, changed so rapidly and it is actually like a, a different city. My name is uh, Arwara Raghunatha Lakshmi Sharai and my Chinese name is Liu Shan and I'm from uh, India. My main work is uh, teaching and research and I live in Chindao for the more than 12 years. And I always tell uh, in the dinner that uh, Liu Shan means Liu Zai Shandong. Chindao is a very beautiful place. As you know, the uh, Chindao is uh, covered with uh, ocean and as well as there are many mountains around uh, Chindao. And uh, the Chindao is also a very rapidly developing uh, city in China. I am very lucky to find a work in uh, Shandong University of uh, Science and Technology. I'm teaching the subjects related to programming uh, and computer science. I find it is not difficult to get along with my students. It is very easy for them to understand what I am teaching. I find uh, the, the students who born after 2000 are very lucky because uh, you know, they can use mobile phones, uh, they can use computers, they can go online. And there is no uh, problem for them to get any learning materials because they have almost everything uh, in the digital form. So I learn from my own students and my colleagues and everybody. So there is a lot of uh, things we learn each other. Now, especially in China, the AI field is developed very, very fast use the AI in almost everywhere. The good part of artificial intelligence is it can be applied to any field. For example, even agriculture, uh, even uh, education, uh, healthcare, industry, and the governments, and everywhere. So the growth of uh, artificial intelligence in China is very, very uh, strong and uh, very useful. I always like reading and uh, studying. So I happen to uh, read uh, the Chinese philosophy. So then I found uh, the, the Chinese philosophers are very, uh, very thoughtful, you know, very, uh, with the great wisdom. The thing is we can apply even today. And if you, uh, if you look at the Kongzi, the Confucius, and there are many Confucius philosophies very uh, powerful uh, in Shandong. Uh, many people like to hear about Confucius. For example, uh, that means don't do the things to others which you do, don't want to do it for yourself. And I also tell sometimes uh, the students uh, that uh, the Confucius also said uh, learning without thinking uh, is uh, you will be lost. But thinking without learning, uh, it makes you in a dangerous uh, position. So the idea is these philosophies helped me in my daily life to understand the people, to understand the culture, and to live in China more easily. My name is Lakshmi Sharai, and I am in China.